Hi Liz, welcome to my workshop. Well, this is great. Now you may remember Wally. He was our tour guide when we went to the U.S. Botanic Garden. And I thought he would be the perfect person to show us how to air layer a rubber plant. So what is air layering, Wally? Air layering is a form of propagation, Liz. When uh, a plant gets a little bit out of shape, especially a Dracaena, uh, a Diefenbachia, or a certain ficus species, you can air layer it, not just prune the, the part of the plant and throw it away, but actually make a cutting that still is attached to the mother plant. Oh, that's great. So if your rubber tree looks like it's getting out of control, you don't have to just chop it up and throw it away. No. You can actually make cuttings from it. That's exactly right. Oh, great. Well, let's see how. Okay. The first step uh, is actually to choose a nice, soft, green, leafy tip, just like you would make any other cutting. Uh, the first step is to remove leaves from the area that you want to make the cutting from. Uh, and you can just slice those off. The next step is to take a knife, and I don't like to use a real sharp knife on this particular thing because sometimes you can put too much pressure on it and slice right through the stem. So I like to use a dull knife. And you take your knife uh, at about a 45 degree angle, cut into the stem, and this is where the dull knife comes into play. You just slowly work it back and forth. Uh, you want to cut about halfway through. And I like to work on the back side of the stem because it uh, holds up just a little bit better. Okay, when you get a cut about four inches long, you want to take your knife, and this is where an extra pair of hands comes in. Let's how about hold this stem up a little bit sure. if you can. All right. Uh, uh, the next step you want to do is uh, add a little bit of rooting hormone, if you'd hand me that, please. And you can just put this on with the blade of the knife. Just dip your knife in. And add it right to the open wound. Okay. Oh, okay, and this is available at most garden centers? Most garden centers or plant stores uh, will have rooting hormone. Uh, the next step is you take a small amount of sphagnum moss, and you take this moss and just wedge it into the open cut. Uh, it's a little bit of a messy procedure. You might want to go ahead and do this outside or in the bathtub somewhere. Now, after you've got the cut pried open, you want to take a big handful of moss next. Okay. Big handful. And sort of split that handful in half. Wrap half around the top and half around the bottom. After you've got that in hand, the next thing to do is take your plastic. Just regular old plastic. Regular old plastic, an old cleaner's bag or uh, a piece of saran wrap, anything that'll hold the moisture in. That's basically what we're doing here is holding the moisture in. And you want to wrap this around the cut and the moss at the same time. Well, you can tell we're out here at the noisy outdoor botanic gardens today. <laughs> okay, after you get the plastic, the next thing to do is take a couple of other smaller pieces of Twistum, take one at the bottom, and you don't want to wrap this too tight with the wire. You can sometimes cut off the circulation. So just tight enough to keep that poly in place. Small piece around the top. And you want to leave a little room at the top here, if you can, of your layer uh, to add a little water in case that moss dries out. Uh, now, this will stay on here for about four to six weeks, uh, after which time you'll start to see small white roots form. After the small white root form, then the, then the plant can be removed and potted in a plant, or potted in a pot, just like a, no, a normal cutting. Uh, on these low ones, sometimes you might have to support them, so what I like to do is take an extra piece of Twistum. I think I have one in my pocket here. I've got one. Oh, okay. And for support, wrap it uh, around the top of the, the air layer and attach it back to a part of the stem that you didn't use. That helps take some of the pressure off the cut that you made. That is a good idea. Make it a little easier on the plant. That's right. Sometimes uh, using large plants, especially ficus and dracaenas and uh, diefenbachis, the cuttings are quite heavy and the weight of the cutting will sometimes break off at the air layer. 
Uh, that's, that's basically what it is. After four to six weeks, you notice good root formation in here. You take a pair of shears, cut it off just below the moss line, put it in a pot, give it water, and about two weeks, it'll, leaves will perk back up and you have uh, not only a layered plant, but a pruned plant as well. So that really is quite simply done. Very easily. Well, thanks a lot, Wally. Okay, you're welcome, Liz. Nice to see you again. You too.